you don't have to be a grandpa who golfs to benefit from this. Exercise is medicine. We all benefit. Last night was a slam dunk competition. Every one of those guys does exercises like this. I happen to be a grandpa, two boys. Thank you, Kristen and Cody. I happen to golf all the time. I know these exercises help me be a better grandpa and a better golfer. So let's get after it. What we have today is five exercises that we'll repeat. We'll make them a little bit harder. The first one is we're just going to stand. I'm going to touch the ground, thumb up, fire up. Touch the ground, fire up, right? Hamstrings, butt, spine, shoulder. We'll switch legs. Then we're going to sit down. First round, we'll just sit. I got a driver. Do this one. All, right. All we got to do, do this one. All right. Next up, we'll get on the ground. Again, thumbs up. Plank position. Up, up, up. Last but not least, we're really going to do it. We're going to use this driver. I'll move the bench eventually. All right? And we're going to step back, put it over our head. Step back, put it over our head, and step up. All right? That will get us. So again, about 45 seconds on, about 15 seconds off. But as a one-man show, I'm going to hit stop and get my timer ready. Here we go. Grandpa through golf. Here we go. Touch the ground, thumb up. Touch the ground, thumb up. As always, I assume people have their own music. There's closed caption. Closed caption seems to work great on YouTube. You can always follow along. Your own music and closed caption. A couple more. I don't really count. I just watch the timer. It all seems to work out. There we go. Left touch, left leg. About five seconds. Here we go. Touch and up. Touch and up. Touch and up. As always, if in doubt, bend your knee a little bit. Be an athlete. No need for it's not a stiff leg at anything. For some reason, if you point your thumb up, it seems to work different muscles when you don't. Our idea is that we're standing up tall, getting fit, working our body. Somehow it seems to matter. Okay, there we go. Now I'm just going to sit. Give my legs a break. Tour Exotics, great products. I wish I was sponsored. Here we go. Those muscles in the middle of our back that we don't work are being worked. They don't work, are not worked because we round our shoulders and we type. We round our shoulders and we watch iPads. I do. And then they don't have to be engaged. About five more seconds. There we go. Okay. I'm getting a plank position and Thumbs up. Thumbs up.
it always feels, you know, heels, your butt, your back in a line. It always feels like that's in a line, but it's not. I can feel like you got to sink your hips a little bit. Easy to lose track of time. Hence, you will see the timer. Always feel like I raise up too much. One more. Okay. Now we get super serious with lunges, backward lunges. Now the name of the game has changed. Tough love here. There we go. I'm going to go back and up. I'm going to go back and come up. If you've never done this before, you're going to feel an extreme amount of stress. And that's okay. You say, well, I can't do them. And it all starts with one, then you stop, and tomorrow you find, find two. There's no real count, 45 seconds. Get as many as we can. And one more seems about right. All right, so that's five minutes. Now I gotta keep moving. Now we're gonna add weight. You skin, you say, oh, I don't need to add weight. Don't add weight then. Rome wasn't built in a day. Here we go. I'm gonna go touch the ground. I'm gonna go up. Touch the ground. Have them fire up. Touch the ground. Fire up. Time goes slowly when you have weights. And balance is more difficult. Go. A couple more. As you can see we're All right. that seems about right. Switch sides, left touch, left leg up. Boom. Grandsons are almost five and two, so it's a lift. They don't get smaller. Here we go. Touch and come up. And then touch and come up. Touch and come up. I'll scoot a little bit forward. At the bench. Lost my balance. So everybody knows who watches my videos. My right side is the one I work on. I'll get it back in gear. Long story, a lot of typing, the wrong angle. There we go. Okay, so now when we do our overheads, we're going to add the ball to squeeze. Again, if you watch the stand up workout, the moment you start squeezing something, that makes it exponentially harder for whatever reason. Here we go. Tempo slows down. Full squeeze. Next week, we'll start adding twists. We already have plank videos with twisting. When I squeeze and twist, again, a lot harder than not squeezing. I'd say that's it. Here we go quickly move to, we're going to go planks. I'm going to move this bench back a smidgen. It's bugging me. I need somewhere where the weight doesn't roll. And I'm going to lift. I'm going to set it down. And I'm going to lift it. 
this seems to be an odd seven pound weight. Uh, they came at seven pounds. Seems to work because those muscles in the shoulder and up and down your spine are not nearly as strong as the one in your butt. Getting a lot out of this one. Shoulders, got my core, got my spine muscles. Oh, that's it. Now, I don't need to make backward lunges any harder. Finish strong. You can wear a weight vest if you need one. I do not need one at the moment. And the better you are at this, the more flexible your shoulders are, probably stronger your muscle back, your muscles in your back, the shorter your golf stick, your broomstick, your PVC pipe. About a couple more. As always, finishing strong is a good life motto. There we go. That's 10 great minutes when that timer hits 10. Don't have to be a grandpa. You don't have to golf. Elite athletes do this all the time. Be a teacher, preacher, professor, whatever. Elite athlete. It'll work. Thanks a ton.